Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. You know this isn't how the game is played, right? <laughs> I know. Marco. Polo. Ow. What the? Ooh, that's supposed to be good luck. Well, good luck hurts. Ugh, where did that even come from? Ooh, ooh, I know. Gravity. What? Gravity. It's a force that pulls small things to bigger things, like apples to the earth. No, I get that, but... The year was 1687, and Isaac Newton published his works Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica. Isaac Newton was an English mathematician and physicist and apple tree observer who had previously noted an apple falling from a tree and wanted to know why the apple fell down and not sideways. He decided that there are natural forces at work which apply to all things and govern their behaviour in relation to other things. Right, my problem isn't that the apple fell, it's that it fell from nowhere. But whilst it took everyone until the late 1600s to notice gravity, gravity itself has been around since the very beginning of the universe. We're not sitting by an apple tree. And no matter where you are in the universe, the force of gravity applies to all things and follows the same rules. We're not sitting near any trees. It's the force by which a planet or other body draws up objects towards its centre, like how the sun draws the earth to it, and the earth draws the moon, and the moon draws conspiracy theorists. What happened? Did a bird drop it? But it's not just the sun and the earth. Anything that has mass has gravity, and mass refers to the amount of matter an object contains. Objects with more mass have more gravity, so the sun has more gravity than the earth, and the earth has more gravity than an apple. How big does a bird need to be to carry an Fusion. apple? There is a difference between mass and weight. Mass affects gravity, and gravity affects weight. For example, on Earth, all of Earth's gravity comes from its mass. This gravity makes a gravitational pull on your body, and that gravitational pull is your weight. But if you were on a planet with less mass, there would be a smaller gravitational pull, and so you would weigh less. And if you're not on a planet at all, you weigh nothing! A five-ounce bird could not carry an apple. An African swallow, maybe, but not a European swallow. But gravity also gets weaker with distance. If objects are closer to each other, the pull is much stronger. If they are farther apart, the pull is weaker. But African swallows aren't migratory. And did you know, in some parts of the universe are areas of such strong gravity that nothing in their pull can escape them, not even light. They are called black holes, and they can sometimes form when a star reaches the end of its life and all of its matter collapses into an infinitely small point called a singularity. The density and mass of the singularity creates an extremely strong gravitational pull and the surrounding area is called the event horizon and that in short is why an apple fell on your head. Yes, thank you. That explains everything. It's a good thing I was here. <laughs> it always is. Marco. Polo.